All right, peace, love, and light to you. We are out here on this beautiful Thursday afternoon. I want to do a video for you to show you all our garden and other things that we are growing out here um, just for fun and for, for food, actually. So let's start out first with right here by the front door. I have a few things here. I have planted um, some black seeds first here. And these black seeds are directly from a um, a bag of black seeds that I got from the grocery store. And so they're coming up really nicely right in this little pot here. And I water them about every day. This is a recycled pot. I water them about every day. And they're coming up. It's been maybe four days so far. And they're coming up already really nicely. Thank you to um, Brother Phil who um, told me about flax seeds and how they can be grown um, just from the seeds from the grocery store. So I have some um, sunflower seeds here growing. You can see one coming up right there. Um, and here, I can't remember what I put in all of these, but I think it's either nettle seeds or another sunflower seeds. Down here we have the strawberries. Looking good. Strawberries. They've been growing for a while. Another sunflower here, and definitely, I, I'm pretty sure this is my nettle, because um, they haven't actually come up at all. I don't see any sprout coming up, so they might take a little bit longer. But sunflowers and the flax seeds came up within about five days. I think I was planting them last weekend, and it's Thursday, so they came up really fast. <clears throat> and another sunflower here. All right, and then some more plants I got growing. Um, beautiful plants, tropical plants. If anybody knows what this plant is, please send me a message. I'm not sure why it keeps growing like this with the leaves that are have holes in them or slits in them like that. They're not supposed to do that. At least I don't think they are. I don't know. But then I got this one back here, which is a pretty common house plant. It's growing in the same pot as this big one, and sometimes they kind of fight, but um, nevertheless, they are doing well out here. Got our our chicken friend who is trapped in the yard. Um, yeah, that's another video. Anyway, so let's go to the back. So let's show the, the strawberries up here, too, are coming in. This one will be picking soon. Got another one that's getting a little red. I usually take off the um, the flowers, but since they're coming in without me picking them so much, I'm gonna leave that flower on. A little bee might want to come and get some nectar or something from it. Okay, so let's talk about. We had a video about our um, zucchini, which we need. We haven't even eaten like that huge zucchini that we, we picked last time and get another one right here. You see it's like almost a foot or more long here. Ouch. And so we're going to have to pick that one soon and probably give it away to somebody because we already got one huge one in the refrigerator. Um, as you can see my beans are coming up. <clears throat> my peas. I think these are peas. I don't know what I'd be planting. Um, but these are coming up really really nicely and I put a little fence here, a little chicken wire fence. We put the chicken wire over by the flowers um, so the chickens wouldn't eat the seeds when we were put, putting the seeds down. So we got some more chicken wire and put that up for the, um, the beans to go up on. And they're doing really well too. <clears throat> About the squash. Now we got so the summer squash is supposed to be um, just a regular yellow summer squash. And I'll take you to the back and show you what I've been doing with the squash because I looked it up. And when they get start to get really yellow, uh, really orange, and when they start to get um, little bumps on them, or actually big bumps, big bumps on them, like oops, like this, that means they're pretty much too they're too too mature. And we let them sit for too long, so now they're too mature, and now they're considered basically a gourd. So these are gourds now, and we're gonna um, 
what I'm deciding to do with the gourds is actually make uh, either bird houses or something out of the gourds. Really, really beautiful. Um, but they're, you know, we're gonna, we're not gonna eat them. We're gonna make them into gourds. So I'm drying a bunch of them on the side of the house, and I'll walk back there and show you that after we get done with the garden. All right, so let's go to the back here. And let's look and see what we got growing back here. I'm so excited about the garden. All right. Put the gourd down. All right, so right here in the front we've got the watermelon. So first, the watermelon is growing out of control. All of this is watermelon. It's coming out of the garden. We have the more chicken wire we put up here. And I have it kind of put through here because it really wants to vine, grow up on a vine. So it's growing like crazy. See a little baby watermelon coming up. So yeah, watermelon is all the actual um, planted watermelon was way down over here. You can see here the watermelon leaf way down over here and so it has stretched all the way over there and all the way, ooh, tomato plant, all the way over here. We got another um, branch of it going all the way over here and it's going, it's just going everywhere basically, okay. We got watermelon. I decided to go ahead and put up a tomato um, fence thing. I don't think it's necessary, but we'll see when the tomatoes start coming in if we're going to need that. Um, we got a little bit of tomatoes coming in down here. We have a lot of tomato plants because that's what was here before. Got all tomato, tomato, tomato. We got some carrots way down here. Carrots right here. Cabbage. This is a cabbage that will be coming up very, or that is coming up and it should be ready to pick soon, actually. Cabbage looks really beautiful. Goodness gracious. Woo! Look at that cabbage. Okay. Another cabbage. Another um, cabbage. we got six cabbages. These might actually be just smaller cabbages. That reminds me of that show or that movie. Um, that horror movie. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so we got the collard greens. They're being eaten up by little worms. That's okay. They got to eat too, become beautiful butterflies. Collard greens, collard greens, collard greens. And let's take a look over here. We've got, I got to get up in here a little bit better here. Um, we've got three of the, um, of the um, bell peppers growing here. Here's one. Another one down there, and another one right there. And we have a special bell pepper that Marcus wanted to get. Well, I'll show it to you in a second, but we got the green onions. Well, actually, these are onions, but the green chives can be eaten as well. More collard greens all in the back. We pick those a lot, and we eat those almost every night. We eat the collard greens cooking them up almost, almost every night. So I'm going to step back over here in the corner we got um, this is actually um, dang um, I'm losing it I'm losing it. Sugar, sugar cane this is a sugar cane that we planted. We bought this from a um, from the farmer's market. I got at the farmer's market selling a lot of different um, exotic uh, fruits and vegetables that are Asian and he had this sugar cane so we bought a piece and um, and basically we, re we used it for a little while but then we started getting dry dried up a little bit so we decided to go ahead and plant it I had put it in some water but it didn't really do well in the water and then we had somebody come over while we were on vacation to water our plants, and he was like, "Yeah, you know, you can put that sugar cane in the ground, and you got, but you got to put it in sideways, like this. So you put it in sideways, and it sprouts up like this. So these are sugar cane pieces or leaves that are growing up right here. Isn't that beautiful and awesome? All right, 
So now we got us a special um, pepper back here that Marcus wanted. These are purple peppers. Look how beautiful and dark that is. Got this purple pepper here. And then we got some habanero peppers that are, should be coming up soon, I hope. But, um, so I'm not even showing y'all I'm looking at. Okay, so these I think are habanero peppers, and they might be coming up pretty soon, hopefully. I actually might take some leaves off of here and just try them. Alright, L. And last but definitely not least, because they have been really good, are these tomatoes that were growing in the topsy turvy up here. Look how beautiful these look. And they are so good. They're small, but they're getting really ripe. And um, so I'm trying to, you know, feel them and touch them because like, they look so good. Every time I come out here, I want to try one, but um, some of them are still not really that soft because these one of them are still green and turning. So, all right, that is the garden so far. Oh, let me show you. Let me go around to the other side and show you all the um, the gourds that were hanging in the back. Oh no, that does not look good. Um, well, let me see what's that. Okay, so here are the gourds that I got hanging here, and uh, some of them are up here on this shelf. Oh hey, how you doing? <laughs> Hi, the neighbors. Um, so yeah, these gourds I got hanging up here. Hopefully they will dry. I think it said you're not supposed to have them in sunlight, but I'm just going to see what happens. We have plenty more that are coming up, so I'll see what happens with them drying in the sun. I feel better when they dry in the sun. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, and here are also the, um, the seeds that I planted for the flower garden. Um, this is like wildflower garden for hummingbirds, um, and also threw down some more flax seeds. There's some flax seeds in here too. Man, I don't even know what this is. It's coming up right there. It looks a little bit different from the other the other little seedlings, but we'll see what comes up. All right, thank you all for watching. Peace and blessings and light to all of you. May you all be blessed.